Hello, and welcome to episode one of Come Rail Fan With Me, my video series on rail fanning in Canada and beyond. My name is Steve Boyko. I operate the train site traingeek.ca, and I have been a rail fan and a blogger for many years. Uh, so I will start by talking about uh, myself and my history, and then we'll go into uh, why I'm doing this podcast, video cast and uh, what we're, what I have planned going forward. So, like I said, my name is Steve Boyko. I live in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, in the center of Canada. And uh, I guess things you should know about me is that when I was a kid, I traveled a lot. Uh, I lived in Moscow for two years, and I lived in what used to be Yugoslavia and is now Serbia for two years. Uh, my father was in the military, so we traveled a lot. Um, but I've been in Winnipeg since 2009. Before that, I lived in New Brunswick for probably about 25 years in Fredericton, New Brunswick. And uh, I used to work for uh, the power company there, and now I work for an engineering company. So uh, I've been a rail fan since about 1999. And uh, so I've been recording trains for... Uh, I guess that's almost two decades now, which is for my age, I'm 51. For my age, that is a pretty short duration. Most people who are rail fans start when they're kids, but I didn't do that. Um, I didn't have a great interest in trains at the time. Uh, I thought they were okay, but I didn't go out of my way to take any pictures of them. Uh, something that I kind of regret in a way, but, you know, you can't, uh, you can't uh, be... You can't be too mad at the past. Uh, it's done, so all you can do is go forward. So, um, uh, this here was 18th of this photo here. So, as I said, my I said my first photo. I said I started rail fanning in 1999. This is the first rail fan photo I took. It's a uh, New Brunswick East Coast Railway, 1866. Uh, I took it with a film camera. I was traveling up north to northern New Brunswick, and I spotted a couple of locomotives across the river, the Miramichi River, and I went out of my way to go over and photograph them, which was something I had never done before. So I went over and took these pretty poor pictures of the train going by. I didn't know anything about the railway. I didn't know anything about the type of locomotive. I knew nothing, but I was interested enough to take pictures of them. So these are my very first photos of uh, railways that I took on purpose. Since then, I've kind of moved on to uh, other things. I like green elevators very much. And this is a photo of uh, the Dugald Green Elevator in just east of Winnipeg. So I've taken photograph photography more seriously as the years go by. The last five or six years, I've become really serious about it. And I've kind of started operating it as a side hustle. You can see my website at photographysidehustle.com to read about uh, what I have to say about that. Um, so, uh, and also, uh, as I said, I've been blogging on uh, traingeek.ca. I, I have a blog there called Confessions of a Train Geek that I started in mid-2005. So I believe it's the longest continuously running train blog in the world. I haven't seen anyone else uh, blog that long. There are a few that, uh, that started blogging a year or two after me, and uh, you should definitely check them out. Uh, I'll have some links in the uh, comments here. But uh, I, think, I think mine is the longest. Um, I, over the years, I've blogged more and I've blogged less. Uh, and uh, these these days, I certainly blog a lot less than I used to, but I blog a lot longer uh, content than I used to blog. I used to write uh, some fairly short things like, hey, I hear this train's coming, and uh, now I blog stories more than anything else and some news art article kind of things. So my blogging style has changed. But uh, online, you can find me either at Train Geek or Steve Train Geek. Those are, that's kind of my uh, what I've been consciously working towards promoting um, so that's where you can find me and that's kind of my story 
Uh, as far as uh, I'm, I've got a list here of who, what, where, when, and why uh, that I want to cover. So that's the who, the what, the topics for podcasting. Um, I'm going to tell a lot of stories here about uh, about uh, my rail fan days, and um, but I've also got some other things to cover. I'm going to talk about rail fan safety, uh, very important. Uh, I'm going to talk about gear. I'll talk about uh, doing research, favorite locations. Uh, my bucket list kind of things, and uh, someday I hope to do some interviews as well. So that's kind of the what I intend to cover on this. Um, the, the where, uh, I, as I said, I live in Winnipeg, so a lot of my rail fanning is done in Winnipeg, but I travel a fair bit for work, so sometimes uh, in the evenings uh, or off time, I will have some time to look at trains while I'm traveling. So uh, we'll talk about that as well. Uh, when uh, I'm not going to commit to a particular schedule right now, but I hope to get these out uh, every couple of weeks, and uh, we'll see how that goes. And as for the why, uh, I think we need another voice and video in terms of, uh, and I keep saying podcasting because I originally wanted to, to do a podcast, but I think the visual element really helps too. So, uh, but why, uh, I don't think there's enough uh, voices out there in terms of uh, talking about rail fanning. There's lots of uh, sharing of photos and sharing of videos, which is fantastic. We live in a golden age of rail fanning, uh, but I think uh, there's less uh, talk about rail fanning, and uh, I hope to help fill that gap, and I uh, hope people like it. So uh, that's kind of uh, where I'm at uh, in terms of uh, starting this video series, and I uh, hope you like it. Um, I'm just paging through a few of my recent photos uh, just uh, to add a little add a little visual element to it. But uh, when I tell stories, basically what I'll be doing is I'll be uh, paging through a series of photos and, and uh, talking about each one. And so not all of these photos here, obviously, are train photos, but some are. Um, like this this one here is the, I like as I said, I like green elevators. So this is the death of the Meadows green elevator. Uh, I was fortunate to be able to capture. This is a uh, little ways outside of Winnipeg. And, um, you know, there's CP-1401 on the Canada 150 train. Uh, there's This is Lake Louise in the in Alberta, uh, Halifax, Nova Scotia. Uh, just a sunset along the tracks in Winnipeg. This was in Nova Scotia. Little artistic photos. So that's the kind of thing that I'm uh, going to be talking about. Hope you like it. Please uh, like and uh, comment down below and things you'd like me to cover, and we'll see what we can do. Till next time, talk to you later.